On go. Three, two, one, go. Oh, here we go. On go. Three, two, one, go. Woo, look at that crater. what you see before you <clears throat> and some of you probably already noticed it about the wheels and the type of body it is this is an HPI of course the HPI uh, Audi e-tron um, vehicle that I had in my previous videos that I was doing some speed runs with and uh, had some failed attempts of trying to reach the maximum speed of 75 miles per hour um, but uh, today I got some parts that I'm going to be upgrading this with and as you can already see this is not your factory uh, electronic system I'm going with the uh, Spectrum uh, 3S system here and this is a 3600 kV motor all right and I'm going to be upgrading and fixing some parts that are have some issues I got the gear cover open uh, the issue I'm having is with the differential I've taken it out and I inspected it everything inside spider gears are and some gears are good however as majority of a lot of RC cars these you know the spare gear on the outside is gets damaged and the pinion gear got chewed up so I'm let you see it a little bit closer if I can focus that you can see uh, okay well there we go let's see well, you can see on the edges of it, it's a little bit worn. You can definitely chill by the uh, outside of it. It's chewed up. This is the gear here. This is worn down pretty bad. And this is the new one, the HPI, which is the part number is 101215, bevel gear 42. This is the replacement. It looks a bit different to look at it. Okay, but it's definitely the gear there. But you can also see how the outside of this has those little ridges on here looks like they've been worn down pretty bad okay so uh, when I first got this vehicle uh, one of my first things I noticed was how stiff it moved almost as if everything was so tight um, like rubbing up against each other like there was no smooth uh, you know roll with the car it was it showed a lot of resistance so I'm going in, I'm going to replace these parts that I got from HPI, I ordered them. Um, still waiting on one part, which is this pinion gear. Uh, I forget what it was, but um, I'm wondering how many teeth is that? That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 13 teeth pinion, 13 tooth pinion. And uh, they're on back order, so I don't have it. But I am going to change out the servo from the factory one and as you guys who probably have this car try to get this thing up to high speeds it just gets all wonky and everything and um, it doesn't want to stay stable so we're going to go with a, something a little bit stronger and i got the uh savix servo or savox sc1258 titanium gear okay all right so there's your little specs right there GoPro cam is horrible. But anyway, I'm going to be also hopping up some parts here with the center drive shaft. That was fine. There's no bends in it, but we're going to be going black and orange. We're going to go upgrade that one. We're going to hop up from Exotech right there. Okay, it's going to be a 2169 Sports 3 drive shaft. And this works on any of those um, uh, HBI vehicles and trucks, cars that you usually have. And I'm going to go again to as well with the uh, spur mount. I'm going to change the spur mount. We're going to go aluminum uh, with this piece. Um, the factory one that I had to change the spur on, they had so much Loctite on there. I had to buy an entirely whole entire new one just to you know get this gear on the spur gear 75 tooth. Okay, one one three seven zero five. So that is going to go on there. 
and that's going to replace that one in here right there that's spur gear and um, I also bought some bushings and everything o-rings that's what that I'm going to be putting in here and try to you know make sure that this gear mesh and everything and spacing is good so but with you know with all that said um, I got I'm going to be connecting to a radio link which this one is set up with gyro whenever you get the G it's going to be gyro this is going to be the uh, R6 FG connected to my RC RC6 GS V3 now I do have the new remote but I'm not hooking that up to that one um, that one is still being used on another vehicle but what I got now I'm just hooking up on that just to make sure it works uh, this is not like my daily driver but I just want to get this running um, so that you know I can reach those speeds or just somehow just get it to just last longer so um, some other things I upgraded on here too I got some Group screws that I put in there that help lower it and keep it down but other than that that's it well without further ado let me just go ahead and work on this and I'll be right back there's the servo HVI SS 20 WR HVI servo I'm gonna be changing it out for this one now as you can see uh, the HPI factory servo is larger than the aftermarket Savox servo, but this one's going to get a whole lot more uh, stronger. Coreless too, so very nice. Okay, so I got the servo in. Okay, the old servo is out here. New Savox servo is in there. You can see the orange. Got to stay with the black and orange, you know, having the whole theme. Also got another clear body for this vehicle too as well. It's gonna be black and orange. I know Halloween is over, but we're gonna keep it up consistent with that. But here's the new gear. You can definitely see by the tooth and everything. Thing is definitely worn down. It looks really bad. And this is, uh, boy. But um, hopefully we get everything going. Yeah, look at that. You can definitely tell this thing's been grinding. I was looking outside of this, the whole lines and everything gone. Oh boy, and the teeth on that is worn down. So I'm still waiting for this part. I'm gonna go ahead and check online and see where that thing is at, man, because it's still in back order. Why is this piece so hard to find? <laughs> Why? If I can't get this piece, I might as well can't even drive the car no more. All right, so what you have here, you got two, you got the bow pins. I took this one off the front diff. You can see the difference. The teeth on this one is chewed up and that one isn't. All right, so maybe I'll put it in my hand. You guys can see a little bit better here. Right there. Me. <laughs> I say be. So you see here, the teeth are gone. This one's the good one. This is the bad one. That bad one is really hard to find. I can't find it online. I, I did, but they are on back order and uh, really hard to get. And I don't have another vehicle like this to swap parts. So the hobby shop doesn't have one. So um, yeah, this piece here, the teeth are grinded down. It's done. So until I find another one, uh, I'll just stick this one here. I, I'm not going to be able to finish this rebuild until that new piece comes in so there you have it all right so here is the spur now all right this is the stock factory piece i already had to buy this whole piece and replace the other one because the loctite was on there so caked up so bad that i couldn't get off so i had to buy another one i'm using a 66 tooth right here and i have a 75 tooth uh this is the speed spur and um I got the speed pinion in there, like 30, what is that, 32, 33? Uh, I can't remember. But um, that should give me to 75 miles per hour on 3S um, for this 110 scale. So I'm gonna go ahead and replace it with this lightweight versus this heavyweight. <laughs> and um, that'll improve that, yeah. Yeah. Boom, and there it is. It's on there. Hey, Blade, go. Shh. 
Oh. All right, here you guys. Here we go. We got the Sports 3 HPI. All right, Flux 3. Already rebuilt. As you can see, I got an aluminum bell crank system by Exotech. All right. I got the Exotech center drive shaft in the middle here. This has the cover on here, but you can see it in the photo. All right. I got the Spectrum 6500 KV motor combo 3S system. All right. I got the diff, the pinion. I called HPI and they was able to get me that pinion and uh, for the differential and I was able to put it in there and we're all running. We're all good to go. Still sounds tight, but I know it's not going nowhere. So other than that, the bell crank system, I didn't show it here, but here's the part number right there. 2171. You guys can look it up on Google. You can look it up. That's how you put it in. Now, one thing is, I forgot to put in the one millimeter crush, crush, crush sleeve, um, but I don't need it. <laughs> it was in there very securely with it here. The crush sleeve goes right in here in between these screws. Uh, I had a little space in there, but with the screw there in the bearings, it's not going over. Uh, and I couldn't get the I couldn't get the um, bearings out once they were in there. Them things are like a press. It's really hard to get out, so I just left that there. So the only upgrades I didn't do to this vehicle is with, was the shocks. Um, I know they also have a spool too. Uh, I was looking at trying to get that, but I couldn't find it. I tried looking at it online, but everything says that it's like back order or not available. So I can't get the spool for this, and that would have been good. I could turn this into a little drag monster, but um, you know, I'm definitely trying to get this thing set up for a speed run so that I can see if I can hit the 75 miles per hour on 3S and be and, uh, and achieve that uh, advertised goal. And I don't know what it is about this car. I pretty much gave up on it because it's such a problem child, <laughs> but um, it's a project and I can't help it. I like projects and when I get it, I just want to work on it and, and get it going. But with this system upgrade here, I should definitely be able to do it. Um, with a 100 uh, amp ESC, 6500 KV, I should have no problem with achieving that goal. All right, I got it hooked up to my radio link, old remote, all right, and uh, I'm just going to get it done. I do have some, um, BSR foam tires for this car. I'm definitely gonna put those on there and uh, hit that speed because these things will balloon and start rubbing that body. Um, but other than that, we're good to go. Well, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully next time I bring bring this vehicle out, you'll see me achieve that 75 miles per hour. Hopefully, hopefully. <laughs> well, catch y'all guys later. Peace.